Hi, Bill Super Wallace here. Welcome to our YouTube channel. What I'd like you to think about in this lesson is four techniques. The jab, the cross, the hook, and the uppercut. The four techniques that are in boxing. Think of all the hand techniques you've been taught in all the martial arts that we've learned. There's hundreds of them. But when you're sparring or when you're thinking about using them in a self-defense situation, how many do you really use? Three, four? When I was point fighting, I used two, the ridge hand and the back fist. When I did my kickboxing, I used the jab and the left hook because I had a big old, big old glove on that protected me. So what I want you to think about is how we're using these techniques. Now, take, a, take what you consider a boxing stance towards me, something similar to this. Now bring your, your rear heel off the ground. That brings your hips forward a little bit. Now, your front hand, your front hand is always your jab hand because that's the fastest hand that there is, the closest one to your opponent, okay? So from here, shoulders up nice and high, jab out, straight out. Good, and back. Look at the shoulders, watch the hips. Jab out and back. Jab out and back. Jab out and back. Notice the hips and the shoulders. Everything is torque, twisting force, power. Not strength, power. Again, ready? Out and back. Out and back. Now out, now bring the rear hand straight across. Bring the hand back up to this position and back. Hands don't really move that much. Jab out and the cross and back. Jab out and the cross and back. Jab out and the cross and back. You notice everything returns to its original position, so you're protected. One more time. Jab out, cross, and back. Jab out, cross, and back. Good. Jab out, cross, and back. Now that's two of the four, so you're almost boxers. Almost. Let's do the hook. From here, jab out, and the cross, and we just did. Now meet halfway out. Put your hands about halfway out. Look how it is. Okay, from here, now all you can do is pull your rear, your rear hand back and your front hand just comes across like this. Just bring it, that's the, that's the length of the punch. It's not a Sunday haymaker, but it's a nice short punch. Remember, hips and shoulders from here. Hips and shoulders from here. So now it's jab, cross, meet, and hook, and back. Very good. Jab out, cross, meet, and hook. Elbows nice and high so you have the torque, the twisting force. Not this, but elbow nice and high. Also, the shoulder protects the chin. Back, good. Jab out, cross, meet, and hook. Again, twist. Jab, cross, meet, and hook. And back. Good, one more time with me, nice and slow. Now, don't make a tight fist. Get your forearms nice and tired. Then you gotta shake them out. So with me, Jab, cross, hook, and back. Jab, cross, hook, and back. Good. Jab, cross, hook, and back. Jab, cross, hook, and back. Watch the shoulders. Watch the hips. Jab, cross, hook. Boom, boom, boom. So there's torque, twisting force. That's where we get our power. That's where we also get our speed. In the body, not in the arms. Arms aren't that strong. Again, ready? Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Meet right in the middle. Meet right in the middle. Meet right in the middle. One more time. Jab, cross, hook. Good. Shake it out a little bit. Now, that's three of the four. What's the target for an uppercut? Usually the chin, maybe the ribs, maybe the stomach. So watch. Jab, cross. Now drop down because this punch is thrown with the legs. With your front hand, punch straight up with your palm towards you. And back. Jab, cross, drop down, punch straight up with your, with your palm towards you. And back. Jab, cross, drop down, punch straight up, and back. Good. Now jab, cross, hook. Bend over with the rear hand out, pivot, and punch straight up. And back. Same thing, palms towards you. Jab, cross, hook, bend over, pivot, punch straight up, and back. One more time. Jab, cross, hook, bend over, pivot, punch straight up, 
and back. One more. Jab, cross, hook, back over, pivot, punch straight up, and come back to this original position. We started here, we finish here. A better way of practicing that. Watch. From here, jab, cross, open your hands up, big circles. Pull it to you. Palms are up, big circles. Look, my knees are bent, hunched over a little bit. Pull them to you. Pull it to you. Not way. Pull it to you. Again, you're st still using the hips, still using the shoulders. Big circles. Big circles. Big circles. Good. So from here, now watch. Jab, cross, uppercuts. Jab, cross, hook. Now remember all our forms we practice? This is basically the start of a form. It's called shadow boxing. Watch again. From here, jab, cross, uppercuts. Jab, cross, hook. Back to the original position. Jab, cross, uppercuts. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, uppercut. Jab, cross, hook. That's the start of it. Now, each individual is different. When I boxed, I wanted to fight sideways, just like my kickboxing, just like my karate. From here, I had to jab and I had to hook. On the left side of fighter, if you haven't known that by now. So I'm jabbing here and I hook right there. Still, still hips and still, still the shoulders. So think about that. Now, we're gonna try a couple of them because it's always good to hit something. Get your gloves on. Oh, by the way, by the way, we just got these in, our Superfoot gloves. They're great, absolutely fantastic. You can get them on superfootsystem.com website. We're taking orders right now. That's what it looks like. Now watch, same thing, watch. Here's the stance, jab, cross, hook, uppercuts. Jab, cross, uppercut, jab, cross, hook. Or jab, cross, uppercuts, jab, cross, hook. Same movement. Now, oh, we have a bag. Three of the punches. Jab, cross, hook. In boxing, it's called one, two, three. So from here, one, two, three. That's the easy movement. One, two, three. Good. Now watch again. One, two, three. Puzzle, you're going to help daddy. Puzzle is going to help us. That's a puzzle. She's 17 years old and she is tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your puzzle. Okay, right, here we go. Jab, cross, hook. Watch the shoulders. Jab, cross, hook. There's the drum. You notice I'm not swinging hard. Nice and short. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's nice and short, nice and quick. And always return. Whose turn is it? It's his. But if I'm one, two, bam, and come back to this position, one, two, bam, and I come back to this position, because now I can do my kicking techniques, or I can come back with my jab or my hook. It's how you work it. We're different. We're all, all of us are built differently. We have different strengths, different weaknesses, different flexibilities we'll find out about soon. But most important of all, we are different right here, psychologically. I have a bad knee and I'm left-handed, so why not use the left side, the left hand, the left leg. Stay with us, we're gonna do a lot more.